I'm sorry for fidgeting, but fidgeting's what I do. And one of these days, you stole my fidget, I'll explode all over you. Oh no, your Orbi ball ate a battery, I can see it. Let's get it ready for surgery. First, I'm going to put my gloves on. First, I'll be cleaning off the area where I'm cutting to get the battery out. I'm doing this by using rubbing alcohol. Now I'm just drying off the area. I'm just using my marker to dot around where I'm going to cut. I will be cutting it right there. Now your Orbi ball is all ready for surgery. Scissors! I have a little bit more to cut. I'm now just going to feel around in it to find the battery. I found it. I'm just going to use my tweezers to find the battery. I found it. I have a hold on it. I'm just going to now pull it out. He might lose some Orbeez. We got the battery. I'm now just going to put it over there and stitch him back up. I'm going to attempt to put some Orbeez in. I just stitched up your Orby fidget ball. It's all brand new. Okay, bye guys. So my brother has broken another one of my fidget toys. This is around the third one this month, maybe even fourth. But we're just gonna fix them. And I was telling between a gold balloon. This is gold, because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it has kind of a shimmer to it. Or I should do a white balloon. But I think I'm gonna do white because you can see the foam balls and stuff. Yeah. So now let's just try and take this part off. So it's pretty easy to take this part off. And yes, I already know what's inside of here because I've my brother has burst, busted one of these this year already. So we're going to go three times now for this. It's already starting to be a big mess. <laughs> this is it. I really like it. These are fidgets that I don't recommend for school. Pop tube, it makes way too much loud and your teachers will be distracted by it and they'll ask you to put it away or else they'll take it. Plus, it's very big and a lot of your friends will ask to play with it. A dimple, it makes so much noise and your teachers will be very distracted and they'll take it. Also, a lot of your friends will ask to play with it and they'll probably end up breaking it. Pop it. It's just way too big and way too distracting and makes a lot of noise. Your teacher will probably take this one too. A fidget spinner. Teachers have banned these in my school because of a lot of kids have been like fighting each other with these, but they are very distracting and I wouldn't recommend. Lastly, stress balls. Teachers do get distracted by these a lot in my school and they always end up taking them from me. And your friends really do want to take these from you a lot. them off. Make sure the knots are really tight. Then cut the top of the balloon off close to the knot. 
Now go to your sink. Close the plug and fill your sink with water. Next, grab your soap and put in five pumps. If you are using a bar of soap, wet it and then rub it on the globble before putting it in the water. Mix the soap in the water, then put in your globbles. Leave them in for about two minutes. Once the two minutes are up, put them on a towel to dry. Once the globbles are dry, repeat the process three more times to make the globbles sticky. And you're done. Hope you enjoyed. Yonky. My favorite fidgets that make a popping sound. Of course my pop it. One side is pretty loud, but the other side, it's really quiet and kind of annoying, but I still love it. Comment down below your guesses for the pop it game. Next is my first simple dimple. I think it's a baby toy because it has numbers on it, but I still love it. It has two sides. I like this side because it has textures on it, and it's nice to scratch, but this one makes an even louder popping noise. I love it! Lastly, my simple dimple. There are many different sizes to pop, and it is so satisfying. There are two sides, so you can flip it back and do it again. This is definitely my favorite. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everyone. Today, me and my friend are going to be fake fidget trading. So these are all mine and those are all hers because this is fake. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to be putting up an offer and I'll put up this Shishibo. I'll trade this. Can you please add some more? I'll trade these two. Um, can you add one more thing? No. Okay, well, I'll just keep this then. I'll trade this. Um, okay, I really like the colors. How about this textured monkey noodle? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Guys, look at this. It's so cool. I really want your Jumbo Nito. Will you trade your Jumbo Nito for this, this, and these? Add. Add more? Um, what about that? Add. More? Um, I'll add in this. Deal. Fidget trading in real life. Let's go. Hmm, what should we trade first? How about this booby pad? Trading this booby pad. Going once, going twice. Wait, wait, wait. It's my dream to get a booby pad. Okay, what's your offer? I have this pop it. Oh. I also have this really poppy thingy when you're stressed. I also have this large marble mesh. I could do tons of things with that. Um, sure, no trade box. Oh no, where'd the booby pad go? I found it. Wait, that's not fair. This booby pad is shit. No trade backs. Oh, we talked about this. My friends rate my fidgets. We're going to do this box first. What do you rate it? I rate it a 7 out of 10. What do you rate this one? 7 out of 10. What do you rate it? I rate it a 6 out of 10. What do you rate it? 1 out of 10. It sucks. What do you rate it? I rate it a 9 out of 10. What do you rate this one? I give it a 9 out of 10. What do you rate this one? I rate it a 7 out of 10 because my dog eats it. What do you rate the mochis? <clears throat> I give it a 7. What do you rate this one? I hate it. Second bucket. What do you rate this one? 10 out of 10. What do you rate them? I give them an 8. What do you rate these? Five out of ten. Come back for part two.